What is Holy Trinity? What is this mystery about three in one God? We all know about Saint Augustine of Hippo. He spent most of his time trying to understand the Holy Trinity. One day he went to the beach and he saw a little boy running back and forth from the water. The boy carried a seashell. He would dip the seashell into the water and carry the water from the ocean and place it into a small hole in the sand. Saint Augustine approached him and asked, My boy, what are you doing? The boy replied, I am trying to bring all the sea into this hole. But that is impossible, my dear child. The hole cannot contain all that water said St. Augustine. The boy paused his work, stood up and replied, What is also impossible is what you are trying to do, to comprehend the immensity of the mystery of the Holy Trinity with your small intelligence. He was amazed by the little boy's answer. Struck by the answer, he spent a while thinking. When he looked back, the boy had vanished. And many say that the little boy was a sign from God. Today is the Holy Trinity Sunday. Throughout the history, many intellectuals tried to solve or to explain the mystery of Holy Trinity. But nobody was able to give a comprehensive and a complete explanation. If Holy Trinity is inexplainable, and if it is a mystery which can never be solved, why do we believe in the mystery of Holy Trinity? The answer is in today's Gospel. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him may have eternal life. Trinity is not a mystery which is to be solved by human intellect. But Trinity is the mystery of mutual love which we have to put into practice in our lives. God wanted to show that He loved the world. For that, God had to become a fragile, weak and a little human creature like us. Therefore, God's eternal word, the Logos, or God's only Son, came into our world as Jesus Christ. God loved the world so dearly, that's why He sent His only Son into the world to be condemned by the world. So, by looking at Holy Trinity, we don't have to solve the big mystery. What we have to do is to understand the simple reality that God is love. In Romans chapter 8, St. Paul clearly explains our relationship with God. We are related to God as His sons. So we can cry out to God as Abba Father. God the Father eternally loves the Son. And the Son eternally loves the Father. And this love between the Father and the Son is the Holy Spirit. In Holy Trinity, we see three persons in a loving relationship. And St. Paul tells us that we have been invited into the love of Holy Trinity. Therefore, through the mystery of Holy Trinity, we realize that love is not static, but love is dynamic and active. Love is not stagnant, but love is communicating itself. Love is not a noun, but love is a verb. If God is love, that love should not be hidden. It should be manifested and communicated. Thus, the Holy Trinity teaches us that love should be dynamic and active. In the second reading, from the second letter to the Corinthians, we are invited to greet one another with the blessing of the Holy Trinity. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We use this same Trinitarian greeting at the beginning of every Holy Mass. Through this greeting, we are called to strive for the perfection of love. Today, can we hear any news about peace and love in our world? With the recent incident of George Floyd in America, we saw riots, disharmony, racial discrimination, violence and hatred. All these are opposites of love. This violence is spreading not only in America, but in other places too. Today's second reading states, Be happy, be one of mind, and live in peace. Our world today is thriving with intelligence and rational thinking. Modern man solves very complicated issues with rational knowledge. If we rank the countries with best intellect, the USA and the Western countries are on the very top. Despite their rational knowledge and intellectual achievements, they are failing today. The main reason is the lack of active love in the world. On this Holy Trinity Sunday, God does not want us to solve mysteries with our intelligence, but He wants us to practice mutual love among our brothers and sisters. Remember, by memorizing the Bible or comprehending the dogmas and mysteries, you cannot get into heaven. But you can surely win heaven if you can practice genuine love imitating the example of the Holy Trinity. So let us not try to solve the big mysteries, but let us simply love our God and let us love our neighbor. May God bless you. Amen.